Hey guys, so I'm in uh, nearby Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and this waterfall is in Templars Park. I think it might also be called uh, Taman Rimba Kuman Way, but I'm not, you know, I don't have a connection up here, so I can't check that for you. Um, the, the tour guide told me that there are three waterfalls, but this is actually the fourth one. Um, and of course, it all, it's all coming from the same source. Uh, but there's smaller waterfalls as the, uh, the farther down you go. Um, so I guess a couple of tips. Number one, um, a lot of times the tour guides will give you the easiest path. And this is not an easy, this is pretty easy to get to actually, but it's just not paved. And you'll see that uh, it goes all the way down. And it's a, it's a nice waterfall. I mean, the difficulty level is, is you know, medium at best. Um, but you can also see that um, it's just really, really relaxing to be here. Uh, and because of that, you have a lot of people that come here. Uh, but today's Monday, so nobody's not a few, not a lot of people are here today. <clears throat> Most of them come on the weekends, and uh, you can kind of see back there somebody set up, somebody set up a little bit of a picnic, and <clears throat> you know they don't bring plastic bags, and so uh, I guess a lot of people just kind of you know set up shop, do a little picnic, and then leave all the plastic and the all, all of the containers over here. Um, that's kind of tragic because it, it's. One of the greatest things about Malaysia and Indonesia um, is that it's just the, uh, the, the beauty of nature. Um, most, of, most of these places are jungles. You can see a little bit of a, a cup right there, a pixie cup, a Dixie cup. Um, but you know, it's, it's something that I recommend you do. If, you, if you're in Southeast Asia, I, d I recommend that you look at, um, you know, try to come to as many waterfalls as you can. Whether or not the waterfall will be spectacular, really depends on whether you go when there's a drought uh, or when you go, um, you know, it just it really depends on how much water supply uh, is coming. A lot of places have actually uh, built hydroelectric power uh, and so they harness the power of the waterfall uh, by putting a dam. Well, if they put a dam, that cuts off the water supply. Uh, that means that if the, um, they're diverting the water uh, to a non-natural use, and so as a result, you know, you wouldn't see something like this. Uh, it just so happened that last night it was raining severely. And so, you know, I'm not sure if I would get something this nice. Um, oh, oh, I didn't realize I was blocking the, the view. I'm not sure I would get something this nice um, if I'd come on a different day. Uh, so a lot of what you see with nature, you know, it's not consistent. Uh, it really depends on the weather, weather patterns. Uh, and again, it took me about, I would say 40 minutes to get, to get up here. Uh, most of the way is paved. It's just that this last, you know, the peak uh, just happens not to be paved. Um, and this is not one of the waterfalls that you can kind of go into uh, and just kind of, you know, just go underneath, obviously. Uh, this is just a normal waterfall, uh, but it's nice, especially if you are a beginner, if you want somebody, uh, if you want to see something that's, you know, quite easy and you just want to sit down and relax and, you know, have some time to yourself, I suggest coming here uh, on a weekday and just uh, hanging out. Um, you can also see that because there's even a mask. I, don't know. I mean, you can also see that because so many people, you know, come here and they don't take care of it, that eventually, you know, all these different tourism taxes lead to the creation of an agency uh, that, you know, probably puts a lot of restrictions on it, um, on, on these kinds of visits. So I don't know how long Asia's natural beauty will be accessible uh, to everyone else. Um, hopefully it will be for a long time. Um, but, you know, you can see that people don't tend to take care of what they have. Uh, so, you know, I would suggest coming earlier rather than later, uh, simply because I've seen the ones in other countries and ultimately what they do is even if you have a beautiful waterfall, they put a gate, um, they put some sort of uh, barrier that prevents you from actually getting this close to the waterfall, especially if it's the kind of waterfall where you can just, you know, go inside underneath. Uh, the flow of the water and just kind of stay there. Uh, that tends to be the ones, uh, the one that's a little bit easier to uh, fence off. Um, and that makes the government look like they're doing something. Um, and of course, they put up a lot of signs. Uh, there's supposed to be a lot of monkeys here. Uh, I don't know if the monkeys are nocturnal. Um, most animals, tend, a lot of animals tend to be nocturnal. I saw some monkeys the other way here. Um, but, you know, like I said, not if you're coming here to see the animal, animals, I mean, it probably depends on uh, when you go. Uh, both the time of the year uh, and the time of the day. So anyway, I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit before heading back.